controversial decision will let thousands of kids and staff members out of school early tomorrow. The superintendent says the bottom line, those proposed budget cuts have a direct impact on them. News 13's Fernando Lopez is here with more. Kim, Superintendent Veronica Garcia says the Santa Fe School District could see cuts of $10 million next year. She says that will have an impact on everyone in the district, and that's why she's encouraging students, staff, and parents to rally at the Roundhouse tomorrow. Uh, it's not a compromise that everyone is going to be happy with, but I think it's a responsible uh, decision and one that maintains the integrity of the educational program and still addresses the needs of our parents. Now, Superintendent Garcia posed the question in an online survey. Should school be canceled all day for a morning rally, let out early, or should the rally happen after school or not at all? She says 5,000 people voted with 80% wanting school closed all day. In the end, she decided to dismiss school after lunch. Now, Garcia says it's important for people to understand how big of an impact the state's school funding decisions will have. Teachers could lose their jobs, teach, which means uh, smaller, you know, larger class sizes, uh, teachers and, and faculty, uh, staff could see uh, less pay. Um, some may just lose their jobs completely if we have to eliminate positions. All of this impacts children and the demoralization of our teachers, teachers fleeing uh, the profession. Now the superintendent says the early dismissal will not keep the district from meeting the state's requirements on instructional days for the school year. That was a big factor in her decision. The rally will start at three on the east side of the roundhouse. Kim. OK, thanks, Fernanda. Now a spokesperson for the governor responded to the move, calling it despicable and a blatant political stunt.